Hello guys, welcome back. So we're hopping aboard the Eurostar today from Paris to London to see an old friend from college. Very easy to book a ticket and go, except for the fact that Paris Gare du Nord is very confusing. And yes, you'll be looking around like a meerkat like 10 minutes before you find the gate. And yes, it will take them some time to check your luggage and passport. So please go at least an hour early because I literally had to jump the gate to not miss my train. Wherever I go, something smells of piss. Do I smell of piss? Is it me? Excuse you, mean. Oh, my debit card worked. Thank God. Why is everybody shopping? <laughs> That was the rowdiest subway I've ever been on. I decided to just walk around and explore the city for the afternoon, and I had another friend from London recommend me try visiting Covent Garden, so I hopped on the tube and got there straight away. There was a group of bridesmaids in yellow Hawaiian shirts, and another group of middle-aged men wearing soccer uniform and holding beer, and they were shouting at each other for some reason. So the subway ride was one of the loudest ones I've ever been on. So I injured my leg and it's like it gets better then it gets worse But this is the moment when I need to start walking that this freaking ankle starts to act up. Oh my god Oh no My former place of employment Hello darkness my old friend, but this is making me feel like I'm in Boston or something. Okay, I haven't decided where to eat lunch yet, but plant-based burgers, not a bad idea. I mean, Beard Meets Food says Five Guys is the best, and they have Reese's, milkshakes, come on. I'm, uh, very, very excited. <laughs> I ordered a small one, but it's humongous. Oh my god, what? Then this, this is a small burger. How is that a small fry? Look at this tiny small little burger. Cheeseburger. A little cheeseburger. Into the world of a small fry. Damn, that Jimmy Dean sausage is fucking delicious. <laughs> COVID restrictions have mostly lifted in the UK and there were so many people, question mark? <laughs> Visited a place called Apple Market and it was bustling. Like everybody was packed in there like a bunch of little bees, totally do. As the woman behind me just said, I'm boy the big pillar. So what is this pillar? I am so dumb. Oh shoot. Okay. Okay, stupid me. This is the National Gallery. I can open my eyes. Charles James Napier General Born. Huh. Oh, How is that? This park is huge. It's Hyde Park. So this is what I'm working with. I took a picture of my route because I don't have data and I'm making my way there perfectly fine oh my god I'm so proud of myself if I lived 20 years ago and I was looking at paper maps I'll still be able to survive quiet all of a sudden i'm so fucking lost is this a hollywood set am i in california after two and a half hours of walking oh i found it no. No, 
I was here. Found the wrong place. I walk so much, I actually feel like dying. Jesus, have mercy. Oh. Oh, that was so heavy. Drink me. Oh, you're 50 pounds. Lay dead there on the hotel floor for about 30 minutes before I went out to see my friend, finally. Yes, and we met at a place called The Pig and the Butcher. I really wanted to try Yorkshire pudding, but they didn't have it because it wasn't a Sunday. So we ordered a uh, grilled pollock and braised pork meat and a few other things, along with house-made bread and potatoes with seaweed butter, which was really nice. I found low calorie ice cream, a little top. Yes, I'm gonna go home. I mean, to my hotel room and eat it. Ha. I bought this on the way back to my room and I thought it was toothpaste. And then it says denture, denture fixative cream. I don't even know what this is. Put it in my mouth because it's a fixative cream. It doesn't get off. This was a very short overnight trip. I think I spent 24 hours in London, so I didn't have that much time to try different restaurants or go anywhere new. I mostly went because I wanted to see my friend, but I do know for a fact that London is actually the food central of Europe these days, so I will definitely be going back sometime soon. Boiling nave until they are tender because I want to pulse them up with this and mix it with this which is a generic kimchi pancake recipe and I want to make it spongy like the one I tried at that restaurant a few weeks ago I do need to boil it until it's like really really soft and still a little bit crunchy Ah, hot! I do not think sometimes. Yes. Just a little crunchy, just a little more. Yeah, everything was getting everywhere, so I'm doing this. Innovation at its finest. Doesn't look like much, but I am going to make this into a pancake. <laughs> Look at this evil thing. Yes. Well, I'll show. Hold on, let me show you. Okay, so we're in this hotel. We're staying like you know. Softer than normal kimchi, which is what I wanted. Get, 